Oh, this looks like a nice spot right uh -huh. here. It's claimed, no. people! Oh, dear. It's claimed! Huh? It's claimed! Uh, sorry. Don't, yeah. oh. Don't be. Sorry. It's claimed. Oh. Good yeah. Stuff. Okay, yeah, it's well. <laughs> now that we're here, nice view and uh, nice ocean waves are, aren't too far from the car, so. Oh, you're lucky about the car. If I didn't yell at that guy, we wouldn't have gotten that parking spot. We would have parked a mile away. Yeah, we only weren't really nice about it, but yep, here we are. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this Ooh. is nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I could so just uh, fall asleep right here. Oh. So wonderful listening to the waves. <sighs> you know, huh, you're right, May. Mm. That's a great idea. What is? Well, you know, building a house. The, the ocean, the sound of the ocean waves. Huh? Why has no one thought to build a house here before? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a little sandy. And... Well, it's a great location. Yep. Yeah. Oh, beautiful mm -hmm. view. Soft sand. It's perfect. I could just see it now. Oh, can't you? Can you? Okay. <gasps> A little more like this. What, what, what happened to my house? Why is it? Why is it flooded? Why is it sinking? Well, I mean, you didn't build it on a firm foundation. Wait, sand can't hold up your dream house. You need something oh. solid and hard, like, like a rock. Oh, you know. This actually reminds me of a story from the Bible. Which one? Oh, yeah, you know, the one that Jesus told the parable about the wise and foolish builders. Huh. Yeah, let's read here in Matthew 7, 24 through 25. Okay, well, mm -hmm. everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Mm. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on the house. Yeah but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. Yeah. Doesn't really sound like your house though, does it? No. Yeah. Well, let's read on right here. The oh. next verses, it says, and anyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the oh. rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and they beat on that house. Oh. Oh. And oh, okay. it fell, and great was the fall of it. Oh, are you all done there? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it really does sound a little more like my house. Yep. But wait, Jesus actually wasn't teaching his disciples about construction oh. or the proper way to build a house. No? He was using this story as a way to show them how they need to build their lives on him. Oh. Guess who the rock is in this story? Jesus. Yes. Oh, but Jesus is the what? rock. Why? What, what does that mean? Well, if you really trust in Jesus, if, if you're, then your life is as pictured by a man building his house on a rock. And Jesus must be what motivates us. He alone must be the foundation for what we say and what we do. Our life needs to reflect goodness and kindness and mercy. Well, <laughs> I think I do that, uh, you know, not to brag, but pretty. Too well. Hmm. Yep. Pretty well. Actually, which I have noticed you've been a little unkind to these people here on the beach. Am I right, folks? Uh-huh. Yep. And especially that guy out in the parking lot you were yelling at. You Sorry know. about that. Sorry. You're right, Meg. Mm -hmm. I haven't really been showing others how I follow and trust Jesus. Nope. I don't want to end up like that beachfront property. Oh, neither do I. And you know. That's why Jesus came here to earth. Oh. He lived that perfect life we could never live. And when he died for our sins, we could be forgiven for all those times that we start placing our lives on the sand. Oh. Oh. I am really thankful for that. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? We should sit down and enjoy this nice beach weather. Oh, Whoa. right, let's do it. Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Ah. Oh. And that's, that's a wrap. A wrap.